if all the citizens of this nation come together, for sure the problems of this nation will go away. Whatever you think is one thing that should not be there in this nation, make sure that you are not the source of that. With the approaching Republic Day, I wish to know what are the three things that I could do for the nation this year. Whoa! See, when we say nation, we're not talking about a land, we're not talking about a political entity, we're talking about people. It's a people which make a nation. It's only in the minds and hearts of people that a nation lives. The land just belongs to this earth, it doesn't belong to any nation. It is only in our minds and hearts because still as human beings, the whole world cannot live as one. The largest chunk of humanity that you can identify with today is a nation. So how important is a sense of nation? That depends what is the status of the human beings who live there. At different stages or different stages of evolution of a nation, how nationalistic we should be should be accordingly calibrated. See, pre-independence era, our, na our uh, nationalism had to be on fire because this was not about living well in this nation, it was about willing to die for this nation. So our nationality or our sense of nationhood had to be really on fire because we are an occupied nation. But post-independence, we can put our nationhood little bit on the cool. We don't have to be burning so hot. But still when half the people in this country have not even eaten properly, forget about anything else, I'm really not concerned about anything else for human beings. Well, they could be educated, they could be not educated, they could live in a home or live under a tree. <laughs> they could wear lots of clothes or just a loincloth, they could drive a car or walk, I don't care really. But every human being must be well nourished. This is fundamental and this has to happen. But unfortunately, that's not happened. The maximum number of malnourished children on the planet are still in this nation. Though we are the fastest… fastest growing economy in the world, we are the fifth largest economy on the planet, in spite of that, the maximum number of malnourished children are in this country. That one thing, if we solve that every human being here is eating at least what is necessary for them to make a life out of themselves. Today a farmer is going to his field. Without enough nourishment to do that hard work, a woman is pregnant carrying a child. Without enough nourishment to nourish a healthy child, a child is going to school without sufficient nourishment to stay alert and learn what he's supposed to learn there. When this is happening, it is important that uh, our sense of nation is little strong, that something burns in our heart and little in the stomach also it must burn. Till these things are solved, when people are living well, you can put your nationalism on a much lower sim. Only when na nation is in danger, then we raise it, otherwise on a day-to-day -day basis we cool it. This wisdom has to be there. But right now when half the people have not eaten, a whole lot of people who have eaten well, they're saying we don't need any nationalism, we don't have to feel for this country, what is there, everything, world is one. 
world is one, I am also okay with that. <laughs> but that's not the reality, that is not the political and economic reality of the world. If in many nations what they are throwing away, just throwing away what lands in the trash can, if that comes, most children nourishment would be taken care of. When that is the condition, you cannot be talking about one world and all this. Fancy ideas, great ideas, it's not that I am not with it, I am also for it. But right now it's not realistic. Right now, we need to have a strong sense of nationhood because still we have not fed half the people on this… in this country. So, I am not saying this so that you don't enjoy your dinner. You must enjoy your dinner, especially because so many people don't get to eat it and I am getting to eat this. I must not only enjoy my dinner, I must put my dinner to good use in my life. Hmm? Yes or no? And also, we must know have a little pain in our heart when I am eating this, I am eating this well, I will make sure what goes into me becomes a part of me, becomes health, well-being and useful activity in my life. And I must know that little pain that many children are going to bed tonight without eating what they need to eat. This is not to destroy the value of what you're eating. This is to enhance the value of what you're eating. This is not to make you feel guilty of what you're eating. This is just to ensure that you eat like a human being, not like an animal. <clears throat> so, what can you do for Republic Day? I would request all of you, wherever the hell you are, go to the nearest school or a district uh, collector's office or wherever, where the national flag flies, stand up and if you don't know, learn the national anthem, there are still four days. <laughs> because most of you don't know, I know this. And sing it. If I sing the national anthem and stand in front of the flag, will all the problems of this nation go away? You must be a fool even to ask such a question. Who said the problems will go away? But if all the citizens of this nation come together to solve the problems of this nation, for sure the problems of this nation will go away. <laughs> oh, you asked for three things <laughs> I said only two. You identify, different people think different things. Some people think it's pollution, some people think it's corruption, some people think it's uh, efficiency, some people think many things. Different people think what is the most important thing that needs to happen in this country. If you think it's discipline, you exhibit that discipline. If you think it's corruption, you make sure you're not that corruption. If you think it's pollution, you make sure you're not the source of that pollution. So whatever you think, don't do what I think, whatever you think is one thing that should not be there in this nation, you never are the source of that. You may not be able to stop everything. Make sure that you're not the source of that. If possible, make sure as many people as you can influence are also not the source of it. I fulfill the number three <laughs> So, we must understand this. Nation is not a God-given thing. It is an idea that we hold in our heads. It's an idea into which we invest some emotion and make it a meaningful idea. And that is why it's important, because it's not God-given, we made it. That is why it's important, hmm? No, but it's we made it up, so what about it? Yes, because we created it, that is why it's very important, isn't it? 
And this emotion of being a nation is a simple way to transcend your own personal limitations. Individual human beings have risen in the name of nation all over the world, willing to live and die for it, man and woman have died in this world for the sake of their nations. It need not be like this. Unfortunately, it is like that right now. Instead of thinking how it is unnecessary, it is unnecessary that human beings could live together, but that's not worked out yet, that's still a faraway reality. Right now, for you, it is a simple way of transcending your own limitations of being stuck in your personal identities. Nation is a simple way of transcending that. So, not just one day, hmm? not just one day in a year on the Republic Day, uh, buy a small flag and fix it in your house. Yes, what is the problem? Wake up in the morning after your sadhana is over, stand up and our national anthem has been fro condensed into fifty-two seconds singing. Fifty-two seconds, sing it. Yes, especially if you have children, please do it. This is not for good till every child in this country is well nourished, till that time you do it. After that, when national anthem is sung, you can sit down. 